Welcome to MultiTeach. In this video, I will highlight a useful feature in Snowflake MultiTeach called Zones. With Zones, you can create independent sections on a display to provide students with access to multiple forms of educational content. This supports a wide range of teaching and learning scenarios. When the display is divided into zones, students can view educational videos and simultaneously interact with related lessons and projects. One way to activate the Zones feature is to select the Zones icon in the main menu of MultiTeach. This leads to a selection screen where you'll see commonly used zone configurations, full screen, split screen, four zones, and the option for tabletops. Select the plus option to choose other useful zones configurations. Here I'll select the four zones option. Any application in MultiTeach can be opened in a zone. To locate and open other applications for an individual zone, swipe the carousel menu to the right or left and then select the desired icon. Here's the Piano app, the Drums app, Math Bugs, and Puzzles. Each zone has a corner icon that opens a side menu to display navigation and feature options. In this case, I'll open the side menu of the Piano app and select the full screen icon to show the piano in full screen mode. I'll select Leave Full Screen from the side menu to return to the Four Zones screen. To exit MultiTeach, I'll select the Close App icon from any one of the zone's side menus, then select the Exit icon. Now I'll demonstrate how the Tabletop Zones feature can be used to support a learning station for younger students. I'll select the Zones icon from the side menu for this example, and then select the Tabletop Zone icon. In this example, you can see how the two zones at the top of the screen are oriented in the opposite direction from the lower two zones, giving a bird's eye view of a tabletop scenario in which four students are seated at the table. I'll select the Clocks app from the STEM menu and select the options that match each student's performance level. You can use the side menus to select other options and exit the tabletop mode. Here's an example of how a display can be divided into three sections to support project-based learning. This setup shows how content in a project-based instructional unit can be accessed in the larger zone on the left. The project contains links to related videos. The lessons on the right side of the screen correspond with the project and videos. Students can use this setup to complete project tasks and create their own lessons to share with others. Students who create video content for their projects can use MultiTeach in this way during their project presentations. In this section, I'll review how the Zones feature in MultiTeach supports vertical interaction with educational content in front of class scenarios. Interactive displays running MultiTeach are good to use when new topics are introduced to students or when concepts are reviewed in class before a quiz or an exam. Because the Zones feature supports access to multiple forms of educational content simultaneously, teachers can plan to arrange the content in zones and then call up two or more students to the display as part of a class discussion. At the primary level, students are likely to interact with the bottom zones of the screen during front of class interactive instruction. After students have completed the lessons on the bottom of the screen, select the Swap Zones icon from the side menu of a lesson on the top of the display, and then tap the lower zone to move the lesson to the lower part of the screen for the students to access. You can enable one of the zones to appear in full screen mode by selecting the full screen icon in the side menu of the zone to quickly change the focus of instruction. Select the side menu and choose the leave full screen icon to return the display in four zones. Teachers with convertible displays can use the rotate zones feature to quickly transform a screen in vertical mode to a learning station in tabletop mode, leaving the screen's content intact. In this section, I'll review how the Zones feature in MultiTeach supports the use of lessons that are linked instructionally to engaging educational videos, such as those found on YouTube, to create a range of learning experiences for their students. In this example, three interactive lessons about the human eye are featured on the display along with the YouTube video what is the Resolution of the Eye by Vsauce. The zone featuring the video can quickly be set to full screen mode by selecting the full screen icon in the side menu. 
This example is set up on a vertical display for whole class learning activities. The same content can be used during tabletop learning station activities for small groups of students. The lessons in this example can be accessed through the MultiTeach Lessons community using the Lessons app in MultiTeach. Keyword in YTLL for YouTube Link Lessons. The lessons can also be accessed through Lessons Online and sent to students individually to complete on their laptops, tablets, or even their phones. Here are some useful links. In summary, the Zones feature in MultiTeach allows you to create independent multi-user sections on a display or tabletop. You can provide students with access to multiple forms of educational content. You can set up, swap, and rotate zone sections to suit a wide range of teaching and learning scenarios. You can provide students with a way to view or present videos and simultaneously interact with related lessons and projects.